Shlahayim, Michael Cherry Naganim. Hello, my name is Michael Cherry. Our tribe was one of the many tribes terminated in the early 1950s. And Oregon's beloved Senator Mark Hatfield was instrumental in the Grand Ronde tribe regaining federal recognition status in 1983. Today, we want to tell you about an amazing opportunity we offer through our Hatfield Fellowship Program. The Hatfield Fellowship was created in 1998 to honor Senator Hatfield's contributions to Indian Country, ensuring that his integrity and service carries on for many generations to come. Hi, how are you today? Thank you for being with us. So tell me why the tribal leaders developed the Hatfield Fellowship Program. I think the Hatfield Fellowship provides an extraordinary opportunity to expand their horizons and develop their professional and leadership skills by serving in one of our congressional offices. This is such a good, good project. It enriches the lives of the candidate. It enriches tribal government. In some ways, the issues may never be heard about unless it comes through this candidate. The Hatfield Fellowship intrigued me because it was an opportunity to go work in our nation's capital and an experience like that is unbelievably important in a young career. A couple things happen when someone decides to take this fellowship and come back to Washington, D.C. They learn how the tribe is involved and they can pass that back on to the tribe that they're from or take it anywhere they want to go. I think the Hatfield Congressional Fellowship is an appropriate opportunity for somebody who is in consideration of what they would like to do, particularly after they're finishing their undergraduate or graduate studies. I think it gives you a deeper understanding of the political structure and how our government functions. I don't think that means that you're limited to a career in politics. I think the skills that you gain are valuable, and I think that at the end of the day, it only helps you regardless of what career path you choose. It's been in existence now for a couple of decades, and we have workers now who are in strategic places in the federal government. I felt it important that we needed to have somebody within our tribal management staff that had hands-on experience, so that's really what led me to want to apply. If we're not involved in our government, we will get the kind of government we don't want. This is an opportunity that anyone in the tribe should just grab onto. It is a chance for you to learn something and then contribute to the tribe. And how do you make sure that we never lose that role for the tribes? This is an opportunity to go make a difference in your community, but also in our nation's capital, because they don't have as many American Indians working on the Hill as they should. And so having somebody embedded from Indian country in an office can really help educate and advocate for things that are important in Indian country. One of the things tribes need to do as we grow our governments and our governmental capacity is we need to continue to enhance our relationships with our leaders in Washington, D.C. And I believe one of the most powerful ways we do that is by every single year sending a tribal member to serve in that congressional's office, to learn the Washington, D.C. system, and then someday bring those skills into their professional life or back to their tribe. I think that cross-education that takes place is just an absolutely fantastic opportunity. Having that background and experience, you can't put a price on it. Take advantage of this opportunity. You never know where it's gonna lead you. My hope is that this inspires you to consider the Hatfield Fellowship Program. For more information, go to thecommunityfund.com. Hi, Yumasi.